Subscribe and stay informed. Addicted to Macintosh. Hi. I will show you how to stop the blinking cursor in iMessage on iOS 18. To stop the blinking cursor in iMessage on iOS 18, here is what to do. First, go to Settings. At Settings, go to Accessibility. At Accessibility, go to Motion. At Motion, toggle to the on position the prefer non blinking cursor. Now the cursor indicator does not blink anymore. It's that simple. I will show you how to work with graphs in Calculator in iOS 18. In Math Notes, you can insert a graph or overlay the graphs of multiple equations on the same grid to see how they relate. To do this here is what to do. First, go to the Calculator app on your iPhone. Next, tap the Calculator icon on the bottom left corner, and then tap on the Math Notes option. Now, you can type or write an equation with exactly two undefined variables, with one on each side of the equal sign. You can include defined variables as well. When you finish the equation, a menu appears. Tap Insert Graph. You can also tap an equal sign of any equation you already wrote to create a new graph. All graphs interpret the equations you enter as y equals f, x, the variable to the left of the equal sign graphs on the y-axis, and the other variable graphs on the x-axis. I will show you how to limit iPhone speaker volume in iOS 18.2. To limit iPhone speaker volume in iOS 18.2, here is what to do. First, go to Settings. At Settings, go to Sounds and Haptics. At Sounds and Haptics, scroll down to Volume Limit. At Volume Limit, set the limit maximum volume to the on position, and set the maximum sound volume you would like. Exit Settings I will show you how to always show volume control on lock screen in iOS 18.2. To set up your iPhone to always show volume control on lock screen in iOS 18.2, here is how to do. First, go to Settings. At Settings, go to Accessibility. At Accessibility, go to Audio and Visual. At Audio and Visual, toggle to the on position the Always Show Volume Control option. Now your iPhone will always show volume control on lock screen in iOS 18.2. I will show you how to set view outside the frame on iPhone camera. On iPhone 11 and later models, there is an optional camera setting that allows you to see what is outside the bounds of your photo's frame, so you can correct the alignment of photos and videos without having to resort to cropping. With the view outside the frame setting enabled, using the wide lens or the telephoto lens, the camera will simultaneously show you the lens view using the next widest sensor. So the wide lens is active when you view with the telephoto lens, and the ultra wide is active when the wide lens is selected. To do this, open Settings app. Next, at Settings app, scroll down and tap Camera. At Camera, under the Composition section, Toggle on the switch next to view outside the frame. You may have to play around with zoom levels to switch between lenses, but you'll know the feature is active when the camera interface turns semi-transparent to reveal the surroundings outside of the viewfinder. It's that simple. Hope you enjoy this video. 
Have a nice day. Subscribe and stay informed. Addicted to Macintosh.